Hey, Pat, it's Midnight Designer, and we are back. Well, we're not back doing anything, but we are going to do a real quick tutorial. Uh, I had mentioned uh, when I played with Joe the Pirate that uh, we had come up with a way for us to move uh, game player files from one world to another without having to mess with uh, anything crazy, and it allowed us to bring stuff on to a different world. And it allowed us also to leave that world with the stuff that we acquired, including experience and things of that nature. So let's do that real quick. So the very first thing that we are going to want to know is are the uh, Steam ID numbers for the people that we're talking about. So now we are on uh, the Steam website. These are my friends uh, that I have on Steam. And the easiest way to find the number, what we're looking for is a number that starts with seven, because that is how the, the identifying uh, characteristic that Seven Days to Die uses for everything. I think it's the Steam 64 ID. Um, so let's go with Jick. Okay. Now, Jick's Steam 64 ID number is right here. Okay. So you'll want to write that down. So you have that number available. Now, not everyone uh, has their uh, Steam 64 ID as part of their web address. I know that he does not. See, his is just his name. So if you want to find someone's Steam ID number and it's not in their web address, then what you want to do is go to a website called Steam id.co and type their uh, steam name into it and that will give you the number that you're looking for okay so that's where we are right now so we have that number and we are going to go and um, uh, find where the save game file is where we want to get our character information so that is in the app data section so we are going to want to hit uh, Windows sign R to get the run command. Type in app data with the percentages at the front and back. Hit OK. And then we are going to go into seven days to die and into saves and into random gen. Now, this is where all of your save games are. OK, so if we were going to go into, say, a broken ankle and we were going to go into players now, there are two here. One of these is me, and one of these is Joe the Pirate from our last episode. And each one of each uh, character has two files. There's the map file and then the character file. Now, if you're moving from one game to another that does not share the same seed, I highly recommend just copying over the character uh, the character file not the map file so let's see here uh, let me go back and figure out which one is mine um so i'm the one that ends in six eight so if i take my if i make a copy of my six eight file um and i put it in my backup copy of replace file and I put it in my backup copy. Now, if I run the game, I got to I turn steam off. So this will take a second. So if I run the game, if I go into either broken ankle 12 copy or broken ankle, both of those should have the, um, the character that I'm looking for, but uh, hold on for a second. Let me, let me get let me get seven days working. Okay, now we're back. So if I go into this is my broken ankle uh, world that I'm using as my single player world. So here's the main single player world. Now if I go into here. I'm trying to remember if I'm in peril or not. I might be in a little bit of... Okay, this is a little bit of a spoiler. 
But it's not terrible spoiler. Um, but let me just look um, here. Uh, so this is what I have in my inventory. Just kind of take note of that. And let's see here. Switch over to character. Level 26. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, and this is what I all look like. Now, let's quit out of here. And then go into the broken ankle backup. Now, oh, wait, we're in the same spot. Oh, I guess that it records your position. Um, let's fly for a second. It records your position. So you will be in the same spot that you were in in the other world. Okay. So that'll be something to bear in mind. So you want, you're going to want to know the coordinates that you were in on the other world. But check this out. Level 26, all this, I can assure you that my test world guide did not have all this stuff. It is identical to what we had in the other world. And then when you're done playing with your friend, as I am clearly done right now, um, when you're done playing with your friend, let's get out of here, you will just copy your character file, uh, this one here, the TTP file, back to to the game save of your regular world. Now this will work exactly the same way with servers. Um, if I can pull up just a second, I will pull up my, um, my broken ankle server stuff. So saves, random gen, broken ankle 12 right? And then player. So you would, if you're using a server, you would do it in exactly the same way. When you're ready to join with your character, you cop, you upload your TTP file to this location. When you're done playing with that character and you want to uh, bring all your stuff back, you do that as well by just downloading that TTP file and restoring it to your other game. Then the cool thing, and I wish I'd have said this at the beginning, the cool part of all of this is you can take stuff with you and give gifts. If you have a friend, say a game for kick kind of friend who does not have a leather tanning book and you happen to have a leather tanning book, you could put the leather tanning book in your inventory go visit games for kicks in his world and give it to him. And then he would have a leather tanning book. Now I know you could just spawn it in or whatever, but there's, this is cooler, right? Because at the end of the day, you are out a leather tanning book. He has a leather tanning book. It's more of a way that you can play with your friends on their worlds. You can bring them stuff. You can have experience together. You can collect things and retain them and bring them back to your world. It is a way to connect communities together that I hope that the fun pimps will develop because Joe and I had an amazing time doing it. And I, and I think that from this point forward, if I ever were to play with somebody like on their world, I wouldn't do it any other way. So I hope that uh, I've explained this well enough that you can kind of understand it. If you uh, did enjoy this video and you found it helpful, please leave me a like down below. You know I love to hear from you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll try to figure it out and help you out. Um, I'm not a, uh, I'm not a uh, professional gamer by any means, so I might not be able to answer your question, but as a casual gamer, I might be able to Google it. So uh, if this is helpful and if you've enjoyed my content generally, I really do hope you'll subscribe. I love it when I hear from new subscribers. It's amazing. It makes my day. Um, but that's really all I have on this topic. Um, stay in touch. Thanks for watching, Pat, and have a great day.